confession time. This was actually my classroom video from last year, and I was going to fix the audio and post it, and I never did. So here's the final classroom reveal from last year. Hope you guys enjoy. Update, I'm finally tackling the library. We are at our first day of back to school. We just had our picture. Traveling with plants, not gone very well. morning. This is not my classroom, but we are at our first day of back to school. We just had our picture and now I'm heading for breakfast. Okay, so we have smart boards, but we still actually have the old pull down whiteboard screen. So I'm gonna show you what I use mine for. Okay, so currently this is my rules and they are from last year's theme. So they are coming down and I'm replacing them with ones that match, but that's actually my little whiteboard. So I made some more on theme uh, rules and things. And then these guys are um, from the decorator pack that I will uh, list below. I'm gonna clip them to my um, string that was already there. And there we go. Day three's in the books. It's still a mess, but at least it's getting to the point where it's almost ready to go. Um, I am leaving. It is the end of actually our first day of pre-teacher week, but day three in my classroom for me and I will be back to work in it all day tomorrow, hopefully to get it all finished. Guys, somewhere in this pile is an O, an R, a U, and a P. Good morning, guys. About to head to my classroom for the second day of pre-teacher week, which is actually day four in my classroom for me. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the many things I'm bringing today. Okay, so I have some succulents and an aloe plant that I am going to really try super hard to keep alive, but I'm very bad at those kind of things. Large stuff like that. And I got these buckets from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. They're like super flexible and awesome. And then I have these guys. Now, Dollar Tree has a couple of these. You can get the ones two to a pack, and they're good for a smaller box of crayons or a deck of cards. These are excellent for the full box of crayons, the 24 count. Day traveling with plants, not gone very well at all. Okay, so I'm about to put these up, and I cut these on my Cricut, and I cut them in pieces because I didn't have big enough paper. Um, and this is just a background, and I did a slice with the lettering, um, which is like the coolest trick on Cricut ever. And I'm about to put it up here because my staff keeps coming in teasing and saying, don't stop until you're what? This is my new favorite section. I love how it turned out. So this is just a Cricut permanent marker and dry erase vinyl. This is my job section. They choose their job by putting their number on there and they're the target laminating pockets so I can change them if I need to. Okay, so we painted ceiling tiles and I'm super excited about them, but mine for some reason don't fit in the ceiling. So I just glued them up here and it says some people will be boring today, not you. You've got too much awesome to spread and it's for kid president. Okay guys, leaving school on day four in my classroom, I think day two of teacher week. I am so tired. I worked literally all day and I feel like I've gotten nothing done because it looks like a bomb exploded in my classroom. Like an absolute bomb. There's stuff everywhere. I can't stand it. Good morning, it is day three of pre-teacher week and I am on my way to school after I get my Chick-fil-A and after I go to Walmart and I made the mistake of texting my team so now I have a huge list to get at Walmart. And yes, I have a giant board thing behind me. This is something I built for my classroom that you will see later. It's finally starting to look kind of like it's going to look when it's finished. I still have to tackle the library. I don't have computers yet. The to-do list is not staying up, neither is the anchor chart. I'm working on the agenda board, but I'm super excited about this shelf. 
and I'm gonna get some containers to go underneath it. Got, got new, I've got a fun new navy rug, my new super awesome chair, and it's getting there. So hopefully today I'm going to film a reveal of the final classroom, or as final as it's gonna be before the kids get in there and everything changes, as you all who've talked before know. The way your room is set up at the beginning of the year is not how it ends. Okay, mini update. I'm finally tackling the library. Yeah, it's pretty horrible, but hopefully it'll get done in a little bit. Okay, the nicely finished product. My little control area. My fun little voice level lights, which are on super magnets, so hopefully they'll stay. And then this is my little shelf area I built so that it would hide and control and ignore the glue gun. Um, contain all of my little rubbermaid carts where they all store their supplies. So there's their crayons, supplies, that's like dry erase markers. Uh, erasers, things like that, whiteboards, and then I have three turn in bins, and they're just turning in one, two, and three because then I can rotate it throughout the day. Uh, made these on the Cricut. Again, the slice tool is my new favorite thing. More call and response. The rules. Like my little plant area with my radon, my dollar spot. Channeling my inner Mr. D and hoping that these guys live. Then maybe this guy will grow, we'll see. And then there is Groot with Aloe. I have these super cute uh, dollar spot finds from the springtime at Target. Uh, this table is going to have computers. This table may be leaving because they're trying to take my kidney table and give me a different one, but until someone actually comes and takes it, I'm gonna hold on to the kidney table. My agenda, which I do need to fix. These are from a decoration pack, and these are from a different decoration pack. I will link them below. When they come in Tuesday, they'll be doing uh, some of the things from Tuesday Create Motivate. Uh, I've got these little dollar spot cubbies for all their supplies. They're going to be pencils there, so I'm sharpening. And then, of course, crowns in the box for the dollar spot. Uh, then all my supplies, making me kit, all that good stuff this is all my area. And then my desk, because I don't have one. And the piles. These super fun stools I got on Amazon on Prime Day or on a flash sale or I don't know what. Um, here is going to be indoor recess at the bottom. And then my stuff at the top. But this shelf is on wheels. So when we have indoor recess, all I have to do is slide it out. Math space. Reading space. Got these fun little... They're magnetic clips, but I just push pin them in. And they will hold my anchor charts. My little area with my Colosseum from Rome. I got in Italy last year, a box I got in Haiti, this cool Egyptian box. I've never been to Egypt, but I love it. My little Star Wars people. Uh, shakers from Mexico. Disney, because Disney's awesome. These will be my read alouds. They will not be allowed to touch these. And then my library, and I just made these labels myself. Um, I might eventually make them where I can sell them, but like, obviously that's a copyrighted image, so can't really sell that. But um, I organized my books by genre this year instead of by level. And then they're taped, so this is fiction, this color is nonfiction. Magic Treehouse has fiction and nonfiction in it, because if you have ever looked at Magic Treehouse, they actually have these nonfiction readers. So it gets both. Um, and then nonfiction down here, poetry is pink, and biography is purple. Okay. Um, so then there's more fiction down here. I gotta fix that. I need to fix that. Star Wars has its own special tape. And again, fiction. And these are Star Wars and Disney books, fiction series, uh, fiction books. And I made these pink these pretty pink flowers for a shower, and now they are part of my classroom. That in a nutshell. It's my classroom. We are ready for the first day of school. I don't